Mike Davis. I'm District 1. I've been on the school board for 12 years. And um, unlike a lot of political offices, I think this one, since we get paid $50 a meeting, uh, this one you do because you have a great passion for the kids in the school system. I probably have more of a passion now than I did 12 years ago because I know more about what I'm doing now. These points that the people have made here are, are valid, and each and every one of them we've done each and every year. Since I've been on the board, you're going to hold me accountable for the numbers I give because I'm supposed to know. So I got the cheat sheet here. For example, we have, we have lost 77 jobs since fiscal year 09. But we've not hired anybody. Those have been by attrition, by transfer, you know, moving out, whatever. We built, we started about 04 trying to build our fund balance as fast as we could go because a lot of us on the board and the superintendent and so forth anticipated hard times to come. We got to build for about eighteen and a half million dollars. My opponents made some comments to some folks in the newspaper that are to be taken wrong. Yes, we have used that fund balance, but that fund balance was put there for a reason. And that was for us to to trim everywhere we could trim, but work off of that fund balance to try to weather the rainy days until the state funding started coming back. As we all know, the state funding has taken a lot longer than, it, than we anticipated to come back, so the numbers that were given in the pre-budget that Mr. Taylor gave you are way from right. So it's not nearly as grim. It's not good, but it's not nearly as grim as it sounds. But um, we are, you know, we're looking at having to go through and make uh, cuts again wherever we can, but we're determined not to take teachers out of the classroom. We've already had the increased student-teacher ratio, but it's not been done by having to fire somebody, you know, somebody retires while we try not to replace it. If we can keep the numbers below the state number. And so, thank you for your time.